what's going on guys so i'm going to take a look and show you guys um a little bit of my performance recap for today today is the 24th of january this uh little um um performance recap screen that you're looking at here is from my top step uh traders combine so if you've been following me in the discord uh, you can get that link to the discord down below in the description box but i did sign up for top step trader to become a uh, prop firm trader there so i am going through the combine um to become a funded trader so what i'm looking at is to get funded with a hundred thousand dollars to trade uh futures so currently i am a full-time trader i do use my own cash and i do trade stocks and equities predominantly i'm trading the triple q's uh those stocks amazon tesla apple microsoft so forth and so forth i am a day trader so i don't have to really worry about the pdt rule as i am on a cash account and even if I wasn't on a cash account and on a margin account, I'm well over the $25,000 limit. So the reason why I'm going through this combine is for the people in the Discord to kind of show you guys the strategies that I'm currently using to trade equities and um, trade stocks, right? And taking this over to the futures market. Why I'm looking to get funded versus putting my own capital into trading futures is just to minimize my risk to the downside. You do have to go through uh, a demo account on com in the combine, meaning that you're going to make simulated trades. You need to hit a specific price target depending on if you want to get funded 50,000, you want to get funded with 100,000, you want to get funded with 150,000. And basically what it is is you need to prove to the prop firm that you can become a profitable trader you need to show good risk management you need to show that you know you have an actual trading strategy you have to think about it like this if a prop firm is willing to put up 50 100 150 thousand dollars for you to trade with and you're going to be trading the live markets with the real money they want to make sure you're not just going to go in there and blow an account so you have a daily loss limit of let's say a thousand dollars you've got a trailing a weekly loss limit of let's say two thousand if you can't keep your losses under a thousand dollars intraday they're not going to allow you to trade if you lose more than two thousand dollars a week you're not going to be able to trade their capital if you're going to you know show that you're just out here gambling and, and throwing money and you know basically throwing spaghetti at the wall um until seeing if something sticks you're not going to be able to become a funded trader so with that being said taking this kind of slow not not putting you know a whole lot of soul interest into this because just due to the fact that i am trading my uh personal account but i am doing this as a little side tidbit because if i can get traded i can out now add another revenue stream to my monthly income meaning that if i'm able to get funded a hundred thousand dollars and trade with that in existence and side by side with in conjunction with my own personal options trading um you know I'm, I'm just looking to add more revenue to that so this is just to give you guys kind of a breakdown today i did take 24 trades i am a scalper so i am going to trade a little bit more than your average you know buy and hold person um so i made 24 trades today the gross profit was 640 dollars. you can see here okay let me pull out my drawing tool i made 640 dollars today i made 24 trades i traded 24 options contract or 48 options contracts the average time the whole time of my winning of my trades was 13 minutes and 33 seconds okay the longest trade that i was in was three hours and 46 minutes okay so it's going to give you that breakdown here I was 75% profitable on my trades. My total fees and commissions today were $28.20. So my total P&L for the day was $612. Um, here's the list of my profitable trades. I took 18 winning trades out of a total of 24, which means that I only lost six trades on the day. And if we kind of look at this pie graph here, 75% of my winning trades or 75% of my trades were winners. 25% of my trades were losers. So that's basically telling you I was winning four times for, uh, I was winning three times for every four trades that I took. Um, with that being said, if we take a look at my losing trades here, I took six losing trades. My largest losing trade was $92.50. My average losing trade was $60. Um, 
My average losing trade was 39 minutes and my max drawdown was $179. My max run up on my winning side was 867. Longest time that I was in a losing trade was three hours and 46 uh, minutes there. It kind of just gives you a lot of little cool charts here that you can look at your PL history, um, you know, your um, your winnings with the fees, the time of day that you were you were trading in your, your PL distribution, all that good stuff. So it kind of gives you a good little overview here. I am only five, six days in. So however long it takes me to hit my profit target of around three thousand dollars before I can get funded. I'll definitely keep updating this as I go along the way here, but you know, good start to this trading combine since I've started it. Let's see if we can keep, whoa, let's see if we can keep uh, this momentum going here. Uh, let's see if we can keep this type of momentum going. Obviously you're gonna take losing trades. This is a, pr this is a prime example here where you can kind of take a look. My average losing trade was $60. My average winning trade was 55. So obviously by just looking at these two numbers, they're not the best. I've, I lost a little bit more money than I won. However, I took more winning trades than I took losers. So with that being said, trading is a numbers game. The longer you stay in the game, the bigger advantage that you have, meaning that if you're able to cut a loss small when the trade fails and you're able to hold runners and enter into those uh, plays with good entry prices, you can trump the amount of losses that you have by outweighing those with the wins. I kind of hope that helps. If you guys are interested in becoming a funded trader, perhaps working for a trade firm, trading for a trade firm, uh, for a prop firm, definitely check out that link down in the description box below. Uh, I believe it's about anywhere from $150 to $250, depending on how much capital that you want to trade with. Uh, that link down below, I am an affiliate with this company, you know, full disclosure. So I can give out 20% discount on um, your signup fee. And if you guys are interested and seriously interested in trading, I'm more than happy to help you out. We can get a, a channel going in my Discord where we can kind of take these plays live intraday. Got no problem with that, calling out my entries and exits and, you know, letting you know when, you know, I messed up on a trade and letting you know when the trade is working in our favor. Definitely join our uh, my Discord. That link is down in the description box below. It's free. Uh, it's free to join the Discord. I'm not charging anything for that. If you're also interested in trading options or equities, um, you know, and not trading futures, I do have a paid subscription on my Discord for the stocks that I'm currently trading, entries and exits, exits signals. Um, like I said, predominantly, I'm going to be trading Apple. I'm going to be trading Tesla. I'm going to be trading Amazon. I'm going to be trading Facebook, Microsoft. If you're interested in trading those type of stocks, definitely want to join that Discord, and I will see you guys all on the next video.